the book of Psalm, chapter 58. Verse 3. And it reads, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her ear. To the beloved of Israel, Shalom. The so called Latinos, the so called blacks, the so called Negroes, the so called African American, the so called Native, the so called Caribbean, the so called West Indies. These are all the names that the oppressor put on us. Psalm 83 reminds us who the oppressor is. They list actually all these nations that came together to make sure that the name of Israel which was placed on certain particular race of people were removed. Psalm 83, family. Let's go to Psalm 83. It wasn't part of my lesson. The family, let's get it. Psalm chapter 83, it says, let's pick it up from verse 2. It says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult and they that hated thee have lifted up the head they have taken crafty counsel against thy people which are the Israelites and consulted against thy hidden ones they have said these are the nations the family listen to this carefully pay attention it says, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The true people of the book, the Hebrew Israelites, are not the Edomites living on the land of Israel. Because the Bible says when we return onto that land, that's when there will be peace on that land. So you ask yourself, who are living on that land right now, family? These are the nations that came together to make sure that the name of Israel is taken off a certain particular people, which are the Hebrew, the so-called African American, the so called Negroes, the so called Latinos, the so called West Indians. We are not Jamaicans. We are not Africans. We are not Trinidadians. We are not Guyanese. We are not from Nigeria. We are not from Ghana. We are the Hebrew Israelite of the book. These are the nations said the tabernacle of Edom. Esau's name was eventually changed to Edom. The Edomites, the ones in rulership right now. And the Ishmaelites, that's right, the so-called Arabs family. Of Moab, the so-called Chinese. They are the Moabites. The Hagarians, the Gabor. Amen, the so-called Japanese, the Amalek, the small hearts, that's right, the ones that are using our names right now, the head tribe of the Edomites, they are the one in control of everything, family, our financial system, our entertainment, 
in politics, in government. They are the one in rulership. The top clan of the Edomites are the Rothschilds, the international bankers. They are the one pulling the strings. They are the one ruling the world today. Not your prime minister, not your president. They are just a, they are just a, they are just puppets, family. This nation came together to make sure that we don't know who we are. That's why they gave us the name. Nigeria, they divided that continent. The reason why we end up in the west coast of Africa was after the 70 AD invasion. When the Romans moved in and then guess what? They destroyed Jerusalem. They spread us across the four corners of the world. Some of us fled to the west coast of Africa. And then from there we know what happened. We were put on slave ship and spread across the four corners of the world. That was mentioned in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Actually, since I quoted it, let's get it. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And it says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. That's the predicament we are in today. Family, before I bring this lesson out, I would like to give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rokakodash, Yahweh is our Heavenly Father's name. He blesses us with His only begotten Son, the Redeemer of Israel, the Prince of Peace. That's right, His name, one of His titles is the Prince of Peace. That is why, family, there's no peace on this earth because the Redeemer Himself is not here yet. That's why there will never be peace on this planet until Yahweh Shai makes His way down here. That's one of His titles. He's the bright and morning star. He's the king of kings because he's coming to put all these nations, their kings, their royalties under his feet. And he is taking over their crown. He's the Lord of lords, family. He's the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. He's coming in his glorious form. The Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. That's the power that we serve. The conquering lion from the tribe of Judah and his name is Yahweh Shai, the redeemer of Israel. Again, Shalom. Shalom. Let's get into the article. This was published today on RT. Things are moving fast. Things are moving Fast to a point where family, you can't even keep up with the news. And this is the Lord promised that what? Because he says, well, for the elect's sake, he has to cut the time short. That's why you see it. You, like, it's already April 8th, family. It's already April 8th. And this is the work of our power, Yahweh Bahashem. He gets the glory. He gets the honor. The EU and uh, its allies and America, obviously, the head honcho. They thought they were about, they, they've destroyed the Russian economy. But family, the currency, the ruble, is on fire right now. But family, this is the work of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know why he's doing this? He's slowly breaking down the beast system. He's slowly destroying Esau's society. They are all the same people. But the Lord said what? He is going to use the Mies, Gog and Magog, to take down the beast. And America's own allies are going to turn on him. Family, they thought they were winning the information war. The family, things are not going according to plans. Yes. The American dollar is losing value and countries are slowly 
walking away from it. The only thing left is war. The only thing left is war. It is coming. It is coming. But they're going to lose. Because this is the movie. This is the Lord's movie. This is the Lord's movie. The Lord's have put the spirit in all of them. Everybody's playing their role, family. Don't be fooled. Everybody's playing their role. But they think they are in control, but they are not in control. When they think they've cornered Putin, he come up with something else. Family, nothing is working for them. Their own allies are now starting to keep their distance. This is the time that we are living in. I don't want to talk too much, family, but let's get into this article. It says on April April 8th, this was, I got this from RT News. It says, published today, April 8th, Caitlin Johnstone, U.S. officials admit they're literally just lying to the public about Russia. From spreading no evidence claims to outright lying, all is fair to put, to get inside Putin's head, apparently. Let's get into it. NBC News has a new report out citing multiple anonymous U.S. officials. He humorously titled, In a break with the past, U.S. is using intel to fight an info war with Russia, even when the intel isn't rock solid. The officials say the Biden administration has been rapidly pushing out intelligence about Russia's plans to Ukraine that is low confidence or based upon more on sorry based more on analysis than hard evidence or even just plain false in order to fight an information war against Putin. What did the Lord says? I've made Esau bad. I've made Esau bad family. Let's get that. It says, I have made Esau bear and he cannot hide anymore. Family, there's no integrity when it comes to these people. Even the land that they are living on America, we know how America was established. Was established with the blood of the northern tribe. That's why Lord, the Lord said what? The land has to be cleansed by the blood of those that shed it. Jeremiah 49.10, it says, But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled. His brethren his neighbors, and he's not. That's it for them. The Lord is slowly, slowly breaking down the foundation. Family, if you live in a house and then you come home and then you notice that one of, let's say the corner of the house, your pillars, you see a little, a little crack in the pillar and the next thing you know, that pillar is gone. Family, what is happening to the structure? That's right. The structure eventually is going to come down. This is what we are seeing. This is what we are seeing through the spirit. Family, the foundation is cracking. And this is the Lord's doing. The Lord said in Romans chapter 9, it says for the same, for the same. Let's go to Romans. Sorry, Romans chapter 9 verse 17, I think. It says, Here, yeah, for the scripture, for the scripture says unto Pharaoh, listen to this family, Pharaoh, Pharaoh was the king in Egypt. During that time, family, the Lord built him up. That's right. Yes, the Lord built him up. Great army, the same thing that we are seeing right now with America being the whore that sit on many waters, ruling the world, family. That's right. This is the world, the Lord that gives you that power. The Lord said, I rule in the kingdom of men. That's right. 
Don't think you are in control of anything. The Lord gave you the power. Here, Romans chapter 9 verse 17, it says, For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So the Lord built this nation, America and its ally, EU and NATO, build them up. They can go to Iraq and destroy it because Saddam refused to trade with the dollar. They can go to Libya and destroy it. Family America have destroyed 70 nations, family. Eh? 70 nations. Let me, let me bring this up. Family flowing through the spirit. Please forgive me. 17 nations. Here, I came across this and I found it quite interesting. This is the last paragraph. Let's get it. It says here. Where was it? Where was it? Come on. What's conclusion? Here. It says here. Conclusion. America has invaded 70 countries since its 4th of July Independence Day in, in 1776. American imperialism has made major contribution to the 1.3 billion global avoidable deaths in a period between 1950 and 2005. The neocon American and Zionist imperialist one percenters can be seen as the new Nazis, the world including ordinary Americans, one million of whom die preventably each year. Must shake off the shackle of endless America, one percenter, war-mongering imperialism and mendacity. The world must make the 4th of July independence from America Day. Tell everyone you can. Family, Let's get back to the let's get back to the scripture. It says, For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So as we get back to the article, uh, let's see. The article says what? Here it says, the official says Biden administration has been rapidly pushing out intelligence about Russia's plans in Ukraine. That is low confidence on based more on analysis that than hard evidence or even just plain false in order to what fight an information war against Putin. Even if the information is false family, they put it out there because the fact that the US dollar is losing its power is not sitting well with them. So family, they are going all out. If it means sacrificing all these EU nations, family, they are going to do it. And you can see it already. There's a big election coming up in France this weekend. And family, these are the things that we need to be watching. People are rising up. But this is the work of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The foundation is cracking. America is losing. Family, this is the end of this empire. The end of this empire. Because the Lord said why? It says for the same reason he raised up uh, Pharaoh. And what did he do at the end? We saw what he did to Pharaoh at the end. He hardens Pharaoh's heart, family. He hardens his heart. He sent Moses to him. Let my people go. How many times did he send Moses to him? Even after all those signs that Moses brought. But do you know what the Lord did? The Lord did that on purpose. That's why he always reminds you. He says what? My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. That's the power that we serve. His name is Yahweh. His only begotten son. Our redeemer is Yahweh Shai. That's why we're here to give him glory. So the same way the Lord lift up America, they went around the world conquering and conquering, destroying, making themselves fat, family. 
that all the resources, the same way the Lord is about to bring him down. The Lord is just. He builds you up, 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 up. When you start thinking that, listen, I accomplished all this by myself. Then, and then we see, sit back and say, look at this fool. Look at this fool. You got all these riches by yourself, eh? Okay, we shall see. That's exactly what is happening right now. There's no going back. Like everything under the season, there's what? Let's get it. Before I butcher it up, I feel, feel I was going to butcher it up. Let's get it. I think it's Ecclesiastes. Is it 10? No, I think it's 3. Yes. Ecclesiastes 3. It says, To everything there is a season. You see, the same way the Lord builds you up in that season, when you think nothing can bring you down. Here it says, And a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Who planted America? You have to ask yourself. It's the Musa Yahweh Bahashem. And he's telling you, telling you. He's also about to unpluck what he planted. That's the power that we serve. Let's continue. The report says that towards this end, so, so the report says that towards this end, the U.S. government has deliberately, listen to it, deliberately circulated false or poorly evidenced claims about impending chemical weapons attacks about Russia plans to orchestrate a false flag attack in Donbass to justify an invasion about Putin's advisors, misinforming him, and about Russia seeking arms supplies from China. You hear these, these people? They are so, so proud, actually bragging about putting out misinformation, lies out there. And the Bible says what? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 33, family. Huh, this book don't lie, eh? This is the best book ever. You can't compare this book to any other book. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 33 verse 1. It says, Woe to thee that spoilers. Meaning what? Destruction to thee. We know what is coming. It says, Woe to thee that spoilers and that was not spoiled. You can go and destroy people's life. Yemen. Vietnam. Across the Caribbean. Panama. You've been everywhere. Listen to what the Lord is saying to you. It says, Woe to thee that spoilest and that was not spoiled. And that dealest treacherously. And they dealt not treacherously with thee. Everybody's trying to make peace with you. But you, you come in there, you kill, you destroy, you steal. But listen to what the Lord is saying. When thou shalt cease to spoil. Meaning, now you've decided that I am going to stop doing my nonsense. But listen to what the Lord is saying. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. The Lord is just. The Lord is just. When you stop to deal treacherously with people, that's when they're going to come after you. And that's what you're seeing right now. You can get up and go and walk to your Starbucks and grab coffee. What about the next man living in Yemen? What about the next man living in Iraq? Congo? All these places that you have destroyed. You think since you've now stopped, they're going to stop? No, 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 no. The Lord is not like that. Yahweh, no. He is just. He built you up. Now he's about to bring you down head first. The report says that towards this end, 
the U.S. government had deliberately, deliberately, family, circulated false or poorly evidence claimed that impending chemical weapons attack about Russia plans to orchestrate a false flight attack in Donbass to justify an invasion about Putin's advisors misinformation inform, informing him and about Russia seeking armed supplies from China. The same thing that they went before the UN, Colin Powell, went to the UN and said, listen, the, uh, Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. Family, Iraq was a thriving nation, regardless of, the, uh, the, 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 regardless of Saddam's uh, so-called uh, tyrant uh, behavior. They had running water. They have universities. People can actually walk on the road. But guess what? They said what? Uh, Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. And then what did they do? They end up going in there. So the Lord is saying, when you stop dealing tre treacherously, family, uh, the nations are coming after you. The Lord is just. So you deliberately putting this misinformation out there going to war, all these uh, EU countries are supplying weapons to uh, Iraq, destroying people's life, people's livelihood, but you are proud about it. You're bragging about it. It says in Isaiah, it says in Isaiah, let's go to Isaiah 26.10, family, Isaiah 26.10. Isaiah 26.10. Let's allow, let's, let's allow this book to speak. This is the word of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha. It says, Isaiah t uh, 26, 10, it says, Let favor, let favor, let favor be shown to the wicked. The wicked is this Edomite, the so-called white man. Yet will he not learn righteousness? It says, let favor be shown to him, family. Even if after everything that they have done, you say to your, your, your people, you say, okay, listen, let's give them a chance. It says here, it says, yet will he not learn righteousness. It's not in them. It says, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. No matter what, he cannot change. It says, in the land of uprightness. So this play, let's say, for example, you are in a village and everybody is on point. Everybody is perfect. In the land of righteousness, everybody is looking after their neighbors. You know what I mean? You're looking after your, 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 your people. Just basically, you know, we are living in peace and harmony. It says, in the light of righteousness, will he deal unjustly? And will not behold the majesty of the Lord? Look at the planet. Look at the state the planet is in. Look at the ocean, the rivers. You can't even fish in these rivers anymore. It's all polluted. Isaiah 26, that's what the Lord is telling you, that let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. He's bragging about putting misinformation so he can go to war, just to make sure that he continue to carry on with it. Hegemony, power over the world, because his currency is losing value. That's what it's all about, family. But it's not going to win. Our power, Yahweh Bahashem, this is his movie. He built you up and he's about to bring you down. It says, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Look at the planet, look at the sun. These devils are talking about finding a way to block the sun, the ray of the sun. They're trying to find a way to block the sun because the planet is overheating. Look, listen to this nonsense. Listen to this nonsense. Here it says, what is the article? Here it says, so they lied. They may hold that they lied for a noble reason, but they lied. They knowingly circulated information they had no reason to believe was true. And that, and that lie 
was amplified by all the most influential media outlets in the Western world. Another example of the Biden administration releasing a false narrative as part of its information war. Family, there's no truth in these people. There's no truth in these people. Habakkuk chapter 2. Let's go to Habakkuk chapter 2. We'll continue with the article, family. Habakkuk chapter 2. Just let us pray flow. Let's go to verse 8. It says, because thou hast spoiled many nations. Let's start from verse 8. Because Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Are you listening to this? I told you, I brought that article. 70 nations and counting. That these people have destroyed. Store their resources, they come in there, they remove your leader and they put their proper government in there. And that's when they start raping you with your, from, uh, off your resources. Here the Lord is reminding you, you that he planted, you the Edomite, this current system. Babylon the great and its allies says, because thou hast spoiled many nations. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and all of that dwell therein. Yes, you have shed a lot of blood. You have shed a lot of blood and you're still shedding the, shed, shedding the blood. The military industrial complex, you're pushing for war because why? So you can sell weapons. Hey, Revelation chapter, not Revelation, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. It says what? Well, the most high is not mocked. Let me get it. Let me get it, family. I apologize, but family, I'm flowing with the spirit. Let's go with Galatians 6, 7. It says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He says the most high is not mock. Don't think whatever you're doing is not going to come to light. You are out here bragging about putting misinformation. Destroying people's life. So you can continue to establish your power. But the most high, Yahweh Bahashem, the one that put breath in my mouth today. That woke me up today. He is saying that be not deceived, family. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Whatever you have done, family, whatever this nation, especially Esau and his ally, Babylon the Great, the EU NATO family, they've been ruling this, this place beginning of the Renaissance. They came back into power in the 1400 and the earth hasn't been the same. But the Lord put them there to fulfill his will. This is all part of the movie. This is all part of the movie. Oh yes, their end is coming and they can hide it. They can't hide. It's the Lord. The Lord said what? For the same reason, so he can show his power in Pharaoh. That's why he raised Pharaoh up. And anytime Moses goes there, he says no. And then the Lord will show more of his powers. He will bring this plague, turn the rivers to blood, the locusts, the darkness. Oh yeah. And then the last end, he killed all the firstborn. Of the land, including the firstborn of all the flocks. Yes, that's the power that we serve. And then he put it in Pharaoh to send his army after us in the wilderness. We parted the Red Sea. Moses parted the Red Sea for us. The Lord parted the Red Sea. What am I saying? 
And then as we go through the Red Sea, just for the Lord to show his power, eh? as a Pharaoh army trying to come after us, oh yes, he closed the breach. And yes, they were all swallowed up. That's the power that we serve. So the same way that he raised up Pharaoh, the same way he raised you up, America, NATO, the Edomites, and the Lord is about to show his power. There's nothing new under the sun. There is nothing. If it happens before, it's going to happen again. Let's continue. It says, On the empire's claim last week that Putin is being misled by his advisors because they are afraid of telling him the truth. NBC reports that this assessment wasn't conclusive, based more on analysis than hard evidence. And family, this is what the mainstream media is pushing. This is what the mainstream media is pushing. You have to ask yourself, why are they bringing this out now? Family, there has to be a reason. Why are they talking about this? Why are they openly talking about this now? There has to be a reason. Let's continue. It says, well, the answer to those questions is where it gets really creepy. I welcome everyone's feedback and theories on the matter. But as near as I can figure, the only reason the U.S. government will release this story to the public is because they want the general public to know about it. And the only plausible reason I can think of that they would want the public to know about it is that they are confident the public will consent to being lied to. Listen to this. So the public agree will agree with you that you're lying to go and, and pin Russia and Ukraine, which are, listen, they're all the same people. I don't care what anybody says, you know, to continue to fight among each other, destroy themselves. You made this up and you are so proud about it. But that is the work of our power. His ways are not our ways. We will sit back and say, why did this happen? Why? No. His ways are not our way. Who are we to question, question the Lord? Who are we? We are nothing. We are nothing. Where did you get your breath from? If he takes his breath from you today, what are you going to do? That's it for you. That's the power that we serve. That's the one that we are afraid of. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh We are not afraid of no man. We are not afraid of no man. To get a better sense of what I am getting at, it helps to watch the televised version of this report in which Delanian and NBC anchor Alison Morris enthused about how brilliant and wonderful it is that the Biden administration is employing these psychological warfare tactics to mess with Putin's mind. Listen to this nonsense. There's no more wisdom in T-Man. No, the Bible says there's no wisdom. Family, these people are done. You can see the foundation cracking. Eventually, one post goes down, another post goes down, and then the house is hanging by a thread, and the Lord is bringing it all down, family. That's the power that we serve. Job chapter 20. Job chapter 20. <clears throat> Let's go to Job chapter 20. Family, I will put that link in the description box and you can read it. <coughs> Excuse me. Job chapter 20. Excuse me. Verse 4. Though his excellency mount up to heavens and his head reach unto the cloud. That's right, family. Their technology. You know, they have a place in space. 
space uh spacex they have a, an army in space now whatever they call them now i think it's spacex uh, space station their technology their airplanes family the lord bless them it's the lord give them the knowledge the wisdom to build all these things here it tells you the lord is the lord is in control eh? asking you to put your missiles together and he's going to use the same missiles to destroy you here let's go it says job 20 verse 5 it said that the triumphant of the wicked is that where i am i said job 20 sorry job 20 let's pick it up from verse uh verse 4 it says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant, the triumphant of the wicked is short. Listen to this. Yeah, it's short. Family, this is it for them. The triumphant is family. They are big, bar, sorry, it's a BB, a BBB, or so build back better, the world reset, all this stuff here. Family, this is what the book is saying. Family, this is what we... Our trust is in no man, eh? Our trust is in the book. This is, this is our guide. This is what the Lord left for us. Eh? He brought us back. He says what? In the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, right? And they shall call upon my name and I will answer them. This is what is leading us. We thank the Lord for not... For comforting us. Sending us his only begotten son, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai, the, our comforter. He is our comforter, family. He says, I come in the volume of the book. This is book from Genesis to Revelation. It's a beautiful time that we are living in. Let's go. Job 20, verse 5. He says that the triumphant of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite. That's right. But for a moment. That's right. It was only for a moment. Remember, our kingdom is everlasting. The one that is coming, Lord willing, we're part of it. It says here, Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Are you listening to this? They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? That's what is going to happen to them. You're never going to see them again after they serve their thousand years of captivity. We will get that too. Obadiah. Family, let's finish with Obadiah. Let's finish with Obadiah. Obadiah, I'm going to jump over. I'm going to jump through Obadiah. Let's go to Obadiah chapter 1. Whew, Obadiah. You want to know the judgment for Esau, Edom? The Edomite? You read the book of Obadiah, family. It says here. The vision of Obadiah that says the Lord concerning Edom, this current rulership family, this nation, this people. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Remember the remnant that is poor? They say what? The remnant will come together and they're going to take them down? Oh yeah, 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 family. This book here, family, this is the real book. This is the real deal. You can compare this book to any other book. Let's continue. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. This year, we hear the Lord is saying, family, don't be fooled with mainstream media. You go and check out independent news, family. The entire world is against this, this, this rulership, against America and their hedge money. That's right. He says, the heathen, listen to this. He said, behold, I have made thee small, small among the heathen, the rest of the nation. Thou art greatly despised. You are greatly hated, family. He said, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. They are so proud. Oh, yes. You can tell them anything. But the Lord said, thy pride have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that says in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Thou, thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, says the Lord. Your space station, yeah, you are among the stars now. The Lord is about to bring you down head first, Esau.
Let's pick it up from verse 7. It says, All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. China, India, South Africa, Brazil, all these nations are right now, family, they are ready to take down this beast. It says all the men of thy confederacy, these are the nations that you traded with, the nation that you made rich, especially China. That's right. But these are the same nation that has laid a wound under thee. That's right. The Lord is very poetic. Our power, Yahweh, oh, all praises, honor, and glory to him. Very poetic. It says, thy men, thy confederacy. It says, let me repeat that again. It says, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, says the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau? That's what is happening right in front of our eyes. And thy mighty men, O T-men, shall be dismayed. T-men is the Germans. That's right. Their economy is about to collapse because they're following the whore, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off, off forever. That's what's going to happen to them. Because you didn't play fair, Esau. But it wasn't for you to play fair. Because the Lord said, I made one vessel for honor, and I made one vessel for dishonor. Unfortunately, that vessel was Esau. The dishonor vessel, that's the one the Lord is about to destroy. The honor vessel was Jacob. Twins came out of the womb of Rebekah. One came out red, that is Esau. And one came out dark skin. The ground of the earth. That's right. Jacob. That's where the 12 children. The patriarch. That's right. Our forefathers. Family. We can't make this up. This is the work of our power. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh But you know what though? Let me. Um, let me end with this. Let me end. With this. Uh, Let me end with, uh, let's go to Ezra. Let's go to the book of Ezra, chapter, 20, uh, chapter 6, verse 27. Listen to this family. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit Lies, family, shall be quenched. They are openly talking about putting misinformation. They are so proud about it, family. So they can go to war and maintain their hegemony, maintain the American dollar. They will do, they will do everything to hold on to that power. But listen to what the Lord is saying. It says, 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 27, it says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, listen to this, family. The truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Once these devils go down, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. 
As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Israel, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, our redeemer, our savior, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, the prince of peace the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. His name is Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Shalom, beloved, Shalom.